You know, when your mom was a teacher and you had to wait in her room for the bell to ring to go to stupid elementary school. You know, like, there's not really much to watch on TV. So I was stuck with stupid PBS kids. And there was always this one show I always liked for some reason. And it was Arthur. Now, this show isn't, like, it wasn't, it's, I don't know how to explain it right now. But it's just one of those, your um, typical kids shows that makes no sense whatsoever. So I figured I'd just dive into the first episode and explain why it makes no sense. Now, you know, I, I like to figure out, like, mistakes and, like, goose in the, like, TV shows. And, you know, I, there's a lot in this episode, so I, want, so I can already point one out off the bat. Look at the fool's door right here. One shot later, it's blue. Like, what? So, anyway, Arthur's annoying little sister, D.W., wakes him up in the middle of the night because she thinks that... Because she's got some intel that she wants to fill Arthur in. It's about our lost brother. Uh, who are you talking to, bro? Uh, maybe he's sleepwalking. I don't know. Yeah. So they both go downstairs, and they open the photo album, and DW shows Arthur the pictures of their apparent long-lost brother. I wonder where he went. Mom and Dad sold him or something. DW, that's me. It's not. It's too. But you wore glasses. That's before I wore glasses. You were born with glasses. Well, that would have been uncomfortable for their mom, you know, carrying around a baby with glasses on their head. Like, like how, how stupid is this girl? I get that she's like four years old in this, but like, wow. So then we get this cringy, like, title card, and we get head into the episode. Well, the story, the flashback from, like, when he was in second grade. Ugh. So the kids have to take a test, a math test, and wouldn't you know that like, I hate math so much. So like it, but Arthur, you know, just looking at him, he can't like he already looks blind, and you know he can't see. So he's like, "That's a four? No, it's a it's a addition sign." Forget you, girl. And then we get just the weirdest dramatic tension in the world. These are your test results. Anyone with four or more mistakes should see me after class for extra homework. You know, that's pretty much me whenever I'm getting a math test back. Because, like, I already know I fail. But, like, I don't know if I've got hope inside or, or something. Like, <laughs> I hate math. So, skipping ahead a little bit. The guys have to do, like, this um, eye exam. And, you know, Arthur fails it, so he has to go get glasses. And then we get the weirdest fairy tale like images in his head that are just like, what? This just makes this show like make no sense whatsoever. Real quick before I hit unpause, look at his face right now. <laughs> cool. Well, you know, that's just horrifying. Like, your eyes move with the glasses. Like, like that's, that's terrifying. But eventually, he finds the glasses that suit him perfectly. And, you know, f like, finally, because I'm sick and tired of this montage. So it's the next day of school, and, like, this is what started the whole, like, problem with this episode. No. Hold up, Arthur. What is your face right now? Like that? That, that has to be the cringiest angry face I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> hey, Buster, look. Arthur's a four eyes. Arthur's a four eyes. Some people need glasses to see, Francine. Oh, good for you, Buster. I'm glad you're sticking by your friend, and I'm sure there's no possible way you're gonna screw this up and, like, make fun of him, too, and... And, ah, crap, there he goes, and he's making fun of him now. I'm Arthur! <laughs> you know, I'm surprised Arthur stays friends with these guys. Like, like, how do you keep your friends? Like, I get this is, like, third, like, this was the second grade, and, like, kids are, like, 
like assholes. But like seriously, why would Arthur keep these friends? It doesn't make any sense because I just tell him to frick off and I just like leave them all. So Arthur's all pissed off and he goes home and then we see the little sister DW again, even more annoying than than what we're used to. Honestly, looking back, I don't know why I like this show so much, because it's just so annoying. So Arthur's like, screw this, I don't want my glasses no more, but I'm gonna keep being called Four Eyes. So he tries to get rid of them, and it's just so weird how he tries, and it just doesn't make sense on how this happens. Just hold, just, just watch. Good riddance. What? What is happening? The laws of physics aren't even, um, like, determined in cartoons! <laughs> Can you believe that this is a kid's show? So it's the next day of school, and he's talking, and this boy's talking to Buster, and like, why are you still friends with him after what happened yesterday? And, he, and he's all like, fool, I don't need my glasses, and he's like, okay, don't hit me! And so, like, the, the next scene is just so funny, and it doesn't make sense at all. Well, one part of it, at least. Second. Third. Code red! Code red! Get out while you still can, fella! Code red! So he walks into the girls' bathroom, and they all freak out. And then when he walks out, everyone gives him the death stare. And his little sister is there for some reason. So soon he realizes, you know what, four eyes, whatever, I'm not walking into the girls' bathroom and again. I saw too many things in there. So he's watching TV, and then he sees something that inspires him. Uber Rabbit wears glasses just like mine? Alright! You know, it's kind of weird that I, hold on. You know, I don't know, is it like a cool way, I like how he realized, you know, bless is a cool or is it like, <laughs> what, what, what are you doing, Arthur? You know, let me know in the comments. So he goes back to school, and you know, it's the same old thing. Old Four Eyes is back. Hi, Francine. <laughs> Why does this kid have the same laugh as Buster? Don't know what I'm talking about? Here's Buster's laugh. You know, they could always be twins, but you know, I just feel like that, like, the editors are just so lazy that they just decided, you know what, guys, we're just gonna give these two the same at old laugh, because you know what, kids don't really care about this, this kind of crap. So Arthur's all proud of himself, and because, you know, his, his glasses, you know, they, they're not so bad after all, but then, you know, Francine just becomes the biggest hypocrite in the world. Arthur... How would you like to play on my basketball team today? Do you like them? No, I don't like them, and you know what? No one should, because you are the biggest hypocrite in the world. You're like, like, how does Arthur stay friends with you? Arthur, ditch this girl. Go find some new friends, kiss a girl, get married, and get away from DW, bro. Like, your life would be so much simpler. So in the end, DW's all like, eh, stupid story, but like, I still wish I had a long lost brother. And the episode finally ends. Thank God. So, what was your favorite part of the movie? That was mine, too. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. You know, I, I, I tried to do this video today, and I think it's going to be a good one. I was, I was going to do Max and Rui, but you know what? That might be a future one. Um, yeah, thanks for 62 subscribers. Let's head up to 100. Well, later. Let's try to just get to 70 for now. Alright guys, peace out, see you next video. Bye!